last time when I was checking how much air you could breathe out of the air that you breathe. Like I was thinking like if you're a scuba diver, why don't you just bring some trash bags with you in case you're, you get stuck in like somewhere, like you could like exhale into a trash bag or something. Like if you know you're going to be screwed and then maybe breathe that for a couple extra minutes. I don't know, but maybe they have rebreathers, so that's not possible or something. Anyways, I realized last time I checked how long you could breathe the same air. I didn't have a pull socks on my finger, so I wanted to pull my socks off and put them on my finger. <laughs> so I got this. The top one is nice. the uh, percent oxygen uh, saturation. So it shows I'm already a little low. <sighs> Probably because you're talking. It was a uh, higher before, but then I was like, you're talking. I think uh, it went down. Maybe it doesn't like that finger. Maybe I should give it the middle finger and see if it does better. You do better with the middle finger? Huh? Is that what you like? You like the rudeness? Oh, it does like the middle finger better. Okay. Well, apparently it likes to be, uh, it's got Stockholm Syndrome. What's the middle finger? And the bottom number is my pulse, which is uncharacteristically high it's weird like 80 huh. and then we got oh i should turn on the light <laughs> so we're gonna see how long we can breathe the same air check the spo2 and the pulse like while it's going on it's going to be super exciting one of those questions everybody's always wondered how long can you breathe the same air out of a plastic bag before things start to really suck the answer is, it gets to sucking pretty quick. But the other part I didn't have before was how much oxygen is in my blood. And then this, this has a one-way valve, but I'll be opening it and then uh, like holding it open with my, with my tongue. <coughs> I have a very talented tongue. <coughs> what? <sighs> All right, first I'm gonna fill it up more, so I'm gonna breathe oh. in through my nose, and then it, and then I'll start rebreathing. Okay. Um, 14.2, 13.8, uh, 98.89. Sure, the body sounds really cool, huh? Uh, 12.4, 12.5, oh, 12.2.
Um, 12.2 still, 12.1, uh, 95, 97, 94, 95, um, 11.9. Oh, stop. This is become very unpleasant. Really? Yeah. It's weird. I think there must be a parameter we're not measuring that, that's making it unpleasant. It must be the amount of CO2 that's in your blood. That's gotta be, gotta be it. But I'm confused. Why it got down to 12% oxygen and then it just kind of sat there. Is there a hole in there or something? Like a tiny little hole that's just letting in enough oxygen? I don't know. It, it, can, it, uh, it seems to hold pressure when I blow into it. It seems to be pressurized. Uh, maybe it, it gets too wet. Or maybe it, the gas meter doesn't work that well when it's wet. Uh. I don't know. When it gets down to 12% oxygen, although that is an unpleasant level of lowness in the oxygen, but it seems like it was there for a long time, and then why didn't it go down further? Yeah. I really thought my oxygen would go down. And actually, well, that showed me that part of it was psychosomatic before. I thought that when you told me what my blood oxygen level was, I stopped hyperventilating as much. I breathed a little slower because I knew my o blood O2 level was, was fine. And so I could breathe just fine. But it just, it's, it's, you just can't feel like you're getting, you're getting enough air, you know. It's really kind of unpleasant. I wonder if you can get a meter that you can stick on your finger that tells you what the percent of CO2 is in your blood. And if it would measure up to a high enough number. Because, you know, I thought that CO2 meter would be pretty awesome, but then, like, it only measures up to 1% atmospheric CO2 levels, you know. All right. All right. All right.